As part of the market demand strategy, Transnet Freight Rail has committed to grow its volumes by 143 million tons from 208 million tons to 350 million tons by 2019. Over 60% of this growth is expected to be delivered by the general freight business, which will grow from the current 82.6 million tons to 170 million tons by 2019. To do this, Transnet Freight Rail play, plans to invest 194 billion to deliver this growth in volumes. I feel enormously privileged and honored, therefore, to announce the four successful bidders of the 1,064 locomotives to Transnet. CSR Zuzo Electric Locomotive, who will build 359 electric locomotives and Bombardier Transportation South Africa, who will supply 240. General Electric South Africa Technologies will build 233 diesel locomotives, while CNR Rolling Stock South Africa has been awarded the contract for 232 diesel locomotives. We cannot overemphasize the importance of this program to localization and skills building in our country. In line with South Africa's commitment to boost our manufacturing capacity, all the locomotives except the first 70 or so will be built at Transnet's engineering plants in Pretoria and Devon. Our engineering division will be central not only to this program we are announcing today, but also to our march as a nation towards being a rolling stock manufacturing and engineering force. We have defined Transnet Engineering's role in the agreements to ensure that it transforms into an original equipment manufacturer. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to work with four original equipment manufacturers simultaneously from different cultures. There will be a cross-section of learning, capability, building, and supplier development. We are ready for this challenge. We have intensified our artisan training program and will select the best to undergo intensive training and skills development with the, original equip with the different original equipment manufacturers. All the successful bidders for both the diesel and electric locomotives have met and in some instances exceeded the local content requirements we had stipulated. This initiative is about growing skills about developing small engineering firms, the kind of firms that were common across many developed nations. It is about allowing our people to take charge of their destinies.